What's up YouTube, N0 here, and I have another Card Fight Vanguard opening. Um, this is probably going to be a short opening, but essentially we have the Festival Collection for the V-Series. And uh, I'm glad that they re made reprints, but I think that they made a bad allotment of reprints. Because... There's some cards in here that's like, we didn't need a reprint of that. We can get 20 of these cards because they're rare and common, so. But anyway, um, there are cards in here that are worth it, like uh, Sable Dragon Newt, uh, Nemain, uh, uh, yeah, just to name a few. All the, the PG draw triggers. They meet. They remade all the starters for the upgrade or with the errata, so that's good. And uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of cards in here, but I wouldn't, you know, buy a lot of the set because there's only ten packs and there's four cards each. Essentially, you'd be paying like fifty bucks for forty cards, which is not really good. I mean, I would do more openings of this if. Uh, they drop to like less than 30. That would be a little bit more worth it. But for now, this is probably going to be the only version of, or the only video of doing this opening. So um, I'm probably just going to buy everything else single. So, all right, we start off with Spark Kid Dragoon, which is nice because this is the starter I use for my Narakami deck. Uh, Evil Stealth Dragon Ushimitsu uh, Haru, which is pretty good. Pretty cool looking. And a reprint of Dandy Guy Romario, which is nice because I think I only have one of him. But the only downside to this card is it's a sticky rare, but eh, worth, I guess. So. And yeah, this guy is expensive with the announcement of uh, Butterfly to Moonlight. And we got Hades Hypnotist, the Pale Moon draw trigger PG. So that's cool. I don't know. I'll put the starters in a different pile. I'll do this. Yeah. Okay, we got the uh, Murakumo starter. And we got Spring Breeze Messenger, which is nice because I did need a copy of this. We got Battle Maiden Sahuhime, which is okay, I guess, because uh, Genesis, it's a draw card and increases the shield. But again, I mean, I don't think we needed this. I don't think we need a reprint. And Steam Guard Castilia, which is weird because this is my ninth copy of this card. Because I got the playset of it from the original set. And then I got uh, more sets from the promo and the trial deck version. And now I got a ninth one. So uh, if anybody needs a draw trigger PG, I for. Dear Chronicle, I have it. Alright, Little Hero Draco Kid, which I don't play Dimension Police that much. Bark Gall, which is nice because I can use this. Doreen the Thruster, which I was playing uh, Card Fight Vanguard EX on my Switch, and every Dark Rider deck pretty much like destroys with this card. So, like, this is like, to me, it, like, if you played enough Card Fight Vanguard EX on the Switch, boy, this is a, this, you're gonna, it, when you're going through the game, this is gonna seem like a broken card. And we got Flowers and Vacuum Cosmo Wreath, which is nice, because I've actually, I only had one, co I only have one copy of this, but now this is, makes it the second one. So that's good. Uh... Give me three more and I'll be good for Link Joker. 
RPGs. Oh, Dorian goes here. All right. Officer Cadet Eric, I do use this card, so that's good. Tapped Hyper, which I don't use this card, but it's all right. It's cool looking. Uh, my very first Bermuda Triangle card ever, because I don't like Bermuda Triangle. Uh, so this is a reprint of Special Message uh, Aurora. And Gus Dijin. I do have a playset of Gus Dijin, but this is a nice upgrade. Oh, forgot to put the rare right there. So. Nice, I got a Chrono Tigar, which will replace the starter I have for my Chrono uh, Tiger deck. Arbros Dragon Ratoon, which is nice, because I, I personally like the the Arbros Dragon more than uh, most Neo Nectar cards. So. Player of the Holy Bow Vivian, which is a good card. Uh, I stopped using it because uh, Ezel had so much of its own support. And Cheer Girl Marilyn for Spike Brothers, which is nice. I don't have any PGs for Spike Brothers, so that's good. Alright, we got a starter for Bermuda Triangle, because Bermuda Triangle has like seven starters, I think. Adroid Resh for Angel Feather. Wheel of Assault, which is nice. This is a good card. Um... I have a playset now, but uh, I can definitely probably switch in uh, this this version, so that way I can trade off my hollow version for better value. And for Nubatama, Stealth Beast, Minji Kure, which is cool, because I don't have any Nubatama PGs, so that's cool. Alright, coming down to the wire here. Another Bermuda Triangle starter. Uh, Sprout Deleter Lushi, which is nice. The leaders were pretty cool. Underlay Celestial Hestile, which I have so many copies of this. I don't know why they reprinted it, but oh well. And we got Weather Forecaster Miss Mist, which is nice because I don't have any Oracle Think Tank. Draw triggers, PGs. Yeah, back then it was like, God, I don't know how much it was, but it was like, I think at one point it was like 15 bucks per copy, which I think is too much, but, but it's understandable why. Another Bermuda Triangle starter. White... Uh, Beastie White Tiger, which is nice, so I can replace my copy of uh, on my God Hand Dragon deck, which is cool. Yeah, uh, Blast Monk of the Thundering Foot, which is nice because I do need more copies of this. And Diamond Ace, which I do have a playset, but this is a nice upgrade. These packs are harder to open for some reason. Alright, Devil in Shadow, which is, the, I think, the coolest looking Dark Irregular starter that I've seen. Full Bow, which is, you know, a favorite for Shadow Paladin users. Not my personal favorite. I like the other two better, Fritz and David. Skull Witch Nemain, which is very nice because she's a rare, and I if I somehow get more of her, I can have like a standalone uh, playset for each of my decks because I've been I have Claret Sword and Mordred Phantom and I've been switching them out switching between both decks so that's good and we have Emerald Shield Pas Pascal which is cool because uh, uh, I have I'm thinking of making in the second Aqua Force deck for Maelstrom, so this is a good start. 
And the final pack for this, I got Primordial Draco Kid, which was my starter for the longest time. Witness, yeah, Whiteness Rabbit, which is for Oracle Think Tank, which is not bad. Cool looking. Uh, Spike Bouncer for Spike Brothers, which is cool. Uh, probably a card that needed to be reprinted, but, you know, I don't play spikes, so I wouldn't know. And Cable Sheep, which is for Great Nature, which is awesome. So these are the reprints. Some of them to note was Nemain, Thundering Foot, Wheel of Salt, and Doreen the Thruster, and Dandy Guy Romario. Because these guys, well, primarily these three, I guess, are are were really expensive at one point. So, yeah. So it's good that they got reprinted. Especially in the main, because uh, she only came in one set, essentially. And it was like an expensive card right off the bat. Like, just because you can search your deck for pretty much another copy... So, yeah, I'm glad that she got reprinted, so. And then our PGs were Great Nature, uh, Aqua Force, uh, Dimension Police, Oracle, Nubatama, Spike, Grand Blue, Link Joker was a big one that I have. I have nine of these now, nine of Castile. Uh, Hades Hypnotist, this is the fifth one, because I do have... I got the playset really early, back when it was like a dollar each. Uh, but I'd say uh, these ones are the expensive ones, I think. Maybe Cable Sheep, but. Or no, I mean, maybe Diamond Ace. Just because Dimension Police is pretty powerful. But yeah, I think this one is the most expensive one, because. Uh, just because. Uh, it came in like a booster, but the others already had their PG, so this was like the only PG draw trigger in that box, so so that's cool. Um, I'm not going to open another one of these unless unless it was really, really cheap, like less than 30 bucks, maybe less than 25 I would definitely buy more, but uh, what the price is right now, definitely not worth it. Um, I'm probably just gonna get everything else singles, because I know I need another. I need. I want to get a playset of this. Maybe finish out the playset of that. And Oracle, because I'm gonna probably make Susano. I can trade. I can either trade this one off or trade off another version. Probably a promo version. Uh, I know this will be probably expensive later because you know or these two, at least, will be expensive because the waifu decks are coming in. So, you know, that kind of thing. So, it's good that I got I got at least one box. Um, probably not gonna, just gonna buy the singles from these. And they reprinted a lot of the starters with the updated uh, skills, so. Uh, I'd say buy singles of that too. I mean, I got my main, <laughs> I got a couple of my main uh, uh, single or starters again, so that's that's pretty cool. Nope, not that one. This one. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next opening. And yeah, check out my Twitch if you want.